I'm not happy with how the knife slides into this sheath. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Open Air Outdoors. And today we're gonna do a little project. I'm down in the basement. It's minus 32 Celsius out there, which is uh, minus 20, 25 Fahrenheit, something like that, right? So I'm not doing any outdoor activities today because I draw the line at minus 31. So now, a uh, small project. And it comes in the way of, as the title says, wet forming leather so what I have here is a little bit of an issue and uh, that is I bought a new knife your favorite buck 110 I love my buck 110's I always carry a buck 110 and I bought a new one and it came with this tan leather sheath and the um, I'm not happy with the fit. I'm not happy with how the knife slides into this sheath. When you stick it in there, it goes in on an angle as it goes in. The knife actually will twist in the sheath. It creates a bulge on the back side. I'm not happy with that. Really not happy. And we're gonna fix that problem. Now, before I go any further, this is a buck knife and buck knives with their reputation. I'm sure if I was to contact the manufacturer and tell them how I dislike the way this sheath is, I would expect them to come good for it and uh, replace it or do something. But I'm not going to contact them because if I go through that channel, well, I don't have a video for you today. So we're going to take care of it ourselves. Wet forming leather. So let's look at some other examples I got here of uh, Buck 110s. Here's a good one right there. See how it fits? If I take it out, it fits perfectly. It has a positive fit when I put it in. And then you look at it again like that. A very slight bulge there over here. This one fits nice, perfect. Here's another one, same thing. If I look at the profile this way, and I take the new one and I go like that. See the slope there? That's why it doesn't fit quite right. And again, if I take this one out, slides in and out perfectly. It's a nice fit. So how do we wet form leather? Well, exactly as it says, it's wet. So I have a container here. I'm going to put some water in it and we're going to wet the leather. Now untreated leather will soak up water like a sponge. It loves water. Once we're done with the wet forming and it's dried, then we'll do uh, an application of uh, treating the leather. But first things first, we have a perfectly good leather sheet that's never been touched, not dirty. It's perfectly clean, fresh out of the package. This is perfect to work with. So let me get reset up and then we're going to go through this and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so the knife gets wrapped in cellophane because I need the knife in order to form the sheath, obviously. 
because this is where um, the knife is what controls the shape of the leather sheath so because it's going to be wet wrap it up to protect it in addition I cut a little piece of scrap wood because I'm looking at the knife or at the sheath and the back side I don't want to disturb it. I don't want to wet form the back side it's only the top side that has that I have an issue with therefore I'm gonna have the piece of wood when the time comes I'm gonna insert that and I cut I made a cutout for the loop the belt loop to slide in once that's wet then I'm gonna use these clamps and I'm gonna clamp it down the first thing let's uh, wet form let's let's get this thing wet now I have my little container here and I'm gonna put that in there like so I'm just gonna let it sit for a few minutes while I drink my coffee I'm gonna let that soak up some water look right now now I'm looking on the inside of the sheath and it's wet right through but I'm gonna let it soak up some more like I said leather soaks up water like a sponge it's not gonna take long okay I think we're ready to give it a try we'll move the water off to the side hopefully not gonna bump into it and make a mess all over the place here bring some clamps in closer bring the knife in and let's put our our backer material in the place put a couple of clamps along the edge here around the perimeter make sure that holds steady and very gently well not gently but slowly it's not a race now I can see the bulge right here the knife going in I'm just going to let it sit there for a second. Give it, give the leather some time to stretch. A little bit more. You can see how the bulge is coming up there. We'll give it time to uh, to stretch and put a little bit more water on here. Like I said, leather is like a sponge. It will absorb that water, no problem. Okay, let's give it a little more of a push. There we go. I want to reach, uh, I'm almost there. Probably got to go another half an inch. Check the back side, everything's looking good. Because like I said, I want the back side of the sheet to remain intact intact in the sense of the if it being flat okay let's give it another little push here I can feel the uh, the leather being pulled we'll put another clamp in here like that for good luck Now I'm looking at the uh, the knife and it's going in nice and straight. Originally if you uh, think back at the beginning of the video when I inserted the knife would actually turn as it goes in. I really really was not happy with that. Right now it's sitting nice and square within the sheath. That's yeah, looking very well. If I snap it like that it looks it fits beautifully. I think 
that's as far as I want to go with it. I think it's a good depth into the sheath right now. Okay, let's reposition my clamps. Push it closer to the edge. This is where the stress is on the end here, right here. Alright. Okay, I need something to hold this up with. Okay, so now that's it for today. Uh, the video continues on for you guys. It's going to be seamless. For me, now I have to let it sit and dry. So this will, uh, I'll continue with this some other day, maybe next weekend, whenever, or maybe that the next time it's 31 below zero or colder where I cut my, or it's my limit on where I'm going to go outside. So maybe that'll be the next time. All right, let's uh, finish some coffee. Okay, it's day two for me, and uh, everything's looking good here. Let's get these clamps off. My sheath is nice and dried. impression is might as well get rid of the uh, cellophane here And uh, well, in case you're wondering, this particular Buck 110, the difference with this one is it's got the, uh, what they call a finger groove, versus the uh, original or any other Buck 110, right? Does not have the grooves. In case somebody's curious. But let's get back to the uh, sheath and the wet forming. Look at that. Look how, look how nice that is. Yeah, and it fits like... When you do this method, it always fits absolutely beautifully. Have another look here. Nice. And the, and the fit, it's, it's always perfect when you do wet forming. So now that this is not completed yet, I have a rag. And today I'll be using this here, which is dub and grease. And uh, while we're at it, or I'm at it, let's give it a treatment. Nice and dry. It's a brand new sheet. It's not dirty. There's no... No contaminants of any kind, as in oil or whatever. So this is a perfect time while it's brand new to give it its first treatment of waterproofing. And this will discolor the uh, the sheet. So if you're going to do some any kind of treatment, it's always going to make it darker, which is fine because if you don't treat it and use your leather. It will darken over time on its own anyways. But there's a color difference. While I finish up here, everybody, just a friendly reminder to like, comment, and subscribe if you like.
the content on the channel. And I love to hear from every one of you. Till next time, everybody. Take care out there.